It's Thursday, August 23rd, 2012. Texas judge preparing for civil war if Obama re-elected. This is the headline on mainstream media this morning. Lubach, CBS, DFW.com, a Texas leader is warning of what he calls a civil war and possible invasion of UN troops if President Obama is re-elected. Uh, Lubbock County Judge Tom Heed is convinced that Mr. Obama winning a second term would lead to a revolt by the American people. And he is pushing a tax increase for the District Attorney's Office and Lubbock County Sheriff's Office. He says the money is needed to beef up its resources in case President Obama wins the November election. Now this isn't coming from some conspiracy website or some uh, crazy conspiracy theorist. This is a judge down in Texas making these statements. I'll put a link to the video below as well as the story on Yahoo News and a backup link from uh, CBSLocal.com. Wow. I wonder if uh, they'll just simply call this judge crazy like the rest of us. Or I wonder if this judge is just being a realist. Because that's exactly where we're headed. It's, it's history, you know, uh, to quote Jake's grandfather from Jericho, this has all happened before, and it will happen again. It's a cycle. Go back and look at your history. I want to cover another story here. Agencies warn of possible anarchist activity at conventions. This was a lead story on CNN today. Washington, CNN, law enforcement officials are concerned about possible violence and anarchist extremists at upcoming Republican and De Democratic national conventions, according to an intelligence bulletin prepared by the FBI and Department of Homeland Security. Of course, that's right out of the TV series Jericho, because anarchists are uh, one of the groups blamed for the false flag that happens in Jericho, and if you watch the series all the way through, you figure out that it had nothing to do with anarchist. You figure out who was responsible for it. So, you know, I'll put a link to that story. That's right out of frickin' Jericho. Uh, another story I'm going to put below that I just I can't even believe that the New World Order is, is going this far. They're really getting sloppy now. This is how we know that that final piece of the puzzle is about to be inserted into the matrix. Navy SEAL to release book on Bin Laden raid, publishing company says. This is from CNN. A book company said Wednesday that it will release on September 11th of 2012 a first-hand account of the raid that killed Al-Qaeda leader Osama Bin Laden. Bull shit. Let me tell you something I know for a fact about Navy SEALs. They don't talk about what they do. They damn sure don't write books about it. You mean to tell me that the American people couldn't handle seeing the pictures of the dead body or uh, the supposed burial at sea of Osama bin Laden, but a SEAL turns around and writes a book about the incident? Not that I think that incident ever took place. I think it's nonsense in the first place. But one thing I do know about Navy SEALs, they do not talk about what they do. This story is absolute bullshit. The New World Order is getting sloppy, people. This is how we know we're getting close. Because if they think America is going to buy this crap, I just don't even know what to say. So anyway, I'll put links to all this stuff below. Uh, let me know what you think about what this judge has to say. Seriously. And uh, please rate this video and please pass it around. Or at least pass the links around. These links are very important below. It's very important that people take note of this stuff. Because this judge is absolutely correct. 
and you know those of you in law enforcement and FBI and all this you really need to think about the path that you're gonna go down when civil unrest occurs because you're gonna be up against the largest armed army on the planet think about what you're doing and think about the oath that you took to uphold and defend the Constitution against all enemies foreign and domestic really sit down and think about the bigger picture you know it's not too late it's not too late to, to you know we're still talking and as long as we're still talking as long as we're still having a conversation or a debate then there's still time please think about what you're doing the links are below please pass them around you guys have a good afternoon. Take care. Stay safe.